There are so many dark clouds in modern physics. Let's go back to classic physics of early 1900s and ask classic questions for elemental particles. Maybe it is time to revisit quantum mechanics and theory of general relativity. This is our new direction of physics. Today we're going to continue our new direction of physics I'm proposing. So the theory is a self-interacting field theory. We see that after we propose a new self-interacting field theory, we get a new term from Newton's law of gravity. We have an extra term. This term, we want to see what happened in the astrophysics. Okay. This term is this. Okay. It's a self-interacting term. So in the previous video, we see that this term can cause in the bend of field. Okay. So you have a force, you have a theta direction change, that means it's bending. We're going to continue on these bending effects of the self-interacting field theory for the asymmetric system, because it has to be asymmetric. Because if, uh, if it's uh, spherically like, symmetric, then the field will be withhold. If it's bending, we see that it's more interesting in the asymmetric system. So what happened that that's the self-interacting Newton's law of gravity in the tensor format of the scalar field. That's where in the last video we were talking about this. If phi equals one, so what do we see? We have a large mass and small mass. It's an asymmetric system. What we see we see the force change in the theta direction. That means you have a force, okay? That's the force, okay? Change in the theta direction caused by the field of the second mass, okay? That's the second mass, okay? So you have a second mass over here. If it can cause in the bending of the field, the local field of the second mass, that's mass one, okay, that's mass two. If locally, this phi two, that's a local mass, okay, can change in the theta direction, okay, that's causing the change, what we call theta direction change, or the force change its direction, the field change its direction, then field being focused, okay. So, such a simple term, extra term, it's nonlinear. Okay, so it has this effect. Okay, so in the R direction, we also see that that's R being holded. Okay, the field being holded. So that's like exponentially that. Okay, so if we solve this part, the B. Okay, so that means this term, if we expand into the tensor format of the scalar theory, okay. We see the two terms, okay? For the asymmetric system, we can, I mean, we don't need to study this. This will be important only near the boundary. But when it's near the boundary, the first term, we cannot make the one, okay? So that means this is more interesting for our astrophysics or our solar system. Now, if we see the B were changed, the R were changed by that, but let's focus on A. Let's do some applications of this term. We now know that the field can be focused. Let's see how the field is being focused. What causing that? What's the effect in the astrophysics? For example, let's do the uh, first application. The solar gravitation field focusing, okay? Now, because last time we talked about Jupiter, it's kind of small, okay? Now, if we have the field from the galaxies, it's so far away, okay? So it's basically a parallel field, okay? When the sun, it's a mass with reasonable size. So the focusing of the field, you will see that because this angle is parallel, equal zero, as long as this angle of this solar system over the distance equal zero, okay, so that means all the field being focused into one point, okay. 
just like the we have we can have a focus focus okay then you have the light pass through and then you see the paper can be burned okay now we can see the same thing for gravitation field so what's burning over here okay so what do we see that if we assume the focus in like general relativity okay because uh, general relativity is a full theory but what our current uh, self interacting field theory the bending effect has a factor of two okay let's use in that what do we see if we assume the core of the sun has 40 percent of the solar mass at 0.2 radius then we see that this dc okay that means the that part field goes to infinity okay gonna be so strong that's in the 55 astron uh, unit okay so if if 50 percent of the mass within 0.2 radius of the sun solar system of the sun okay that's in the 43 astro unit okay so that means the field from the galaxies being focused by our sun okay then we see a point where we know now know the distance okay this distance where the field being infinity being strong that's our sun that's jupiter that's saturn okay so what do we see that the Kupel belt it's about 43 40 some astron unit maybe up to 50 okay so that means we are in a reasonable estimation maybe because of field from the solar from the galaxies being focused and uh, forming a belt it's called Kupel belt is this real okay people may say hey i don't know maybe not because of that okay so what's interesting that because the self-interacting field theory i'm proposing it's strong interaction and gravitation in the same equation now if the field is so strong it triggers strong interaction it causes the formation of hydrogen I don't think any theory at this moment can say, okay, gravitation focusing and causing the hydrogen, the production or creation of the hydrogen. This is first time I'm proposing whether this Cooper belt is forming because of that. Okay, so now because our solar system is rotating around the, the galaxies so we know where the strong field come from so now let's say if the field been coming from this direction okay coming field coming from this direction okay coming from here then the hydrogen will be formed over here that's hydrogen being formed okay so now do we know our position yes we know our position in versus of the galaxies because if the galaxy is over there, the hydrogen will be formed over here. I mean, over many billions of years or millions of years, it's been our solar system been rotating around the galaxy. That's why forming a belt. Okay. But at this moment, we can see the creation where the gravitation field come from. So because of the hydrogen has a unique wavelength property we can see the new creation of hydrogen in the area in the place where opposite to our galactic center okay we have the galactic center where the field comes from let's say galactic center is from here then the hydrogen will be formed over here uh, the other places will be weak because that's where the parallel field come from okay in our solar system so we will definitely have more hydrogen being formed on this side than this side okay so that means if the field come from this side you form the hydrogen over here 
I mean, there may be some other farther away from our galaxies. Then you have more being created, the Cooper Belt, okay? Cooper Belt being formed. But what's interesting is that if you see, <clears throat> this is like two arms, okay? You have more black over here. So because our galaxy has two arms, if you pass one arm, then you form this, and then there's no arm in between, then you have this, okay? So is this coincidence? I don't know, but definitely astronomer can see this. If that's happened at this moment, if we see the hydrogen formation stronger opposite to the other side of the galactic center, okay? So that means that's a very strong evidence for the strong self-interacting field theory, okay? Now, this is one part, okay? Let's see the next one, the application two. I mean, the application to the dark matter being, full, being it's the field being focused by our arms so that we see the dark matter. We will have a, one video to talk about that, okay? We will have a specific video. We'll come back to this, the application two. Okay, so the binary stars, okay? We have a, a, a star formed over here. We form a Cooper belt, okay? Okay. So if the Cooper belt hydrogen start accumulating, you can form another star. That means one older, one younger, okay? So in our universe, we see so many binary stars. It's weird, okay? That's because of the focusing of the gravitational field being focused by the first star. And also, by the way, our binary star has one older, one younger, okay? Yeah, so that's maybe the meaning of our field being focused, okay? So that's the third application. Let's talk about the fourth application, okay? The missing star between Jupiter and Mars, Mars, okay? So how to say that? We have Jupiter over here, okay? So what do we have? 0 0.3, 0 0.4, okay, that's like around two. Okay, that's around two. That's from 0.3 with 0.7. That's almost two. Okay, then the, the next 1.5 is two. It's supposed to be three. No, it became like five. Okay, so then we see 10, 20. Okay, so it's always two times. Okay, but then there is a missing something right around the Jupiter. Because the missing star between mass, Mar Mars and Jupiter, it's in the line of the Jupiter. Maybe because of the, the focusing effect causing the matter being pre-focused. So Jupiter may torch that away, okay? So this is maybe because of that, okay? But that's still something where we cannot prove. But I think the dark matter and the, the food pair belt will be able to absorb. But we'll come back to this in the next video. So, so the next video, we're going to talk about the, the field being trapped, okay? In the one dimension, two dimension, and three dimension especially in the two dimension. So I can draw something over here. We have a field over here being focused, okay? So the two dimensional trapping, it's the field will be keep bending back and forth, will be trapped in the two dimension. We'll come back to this in the video. And what we'll do is I will do a three dimensional trapping to see what the field, what it look like, okay? We will do the two dimension. We can derive the dark matter problem. We can even propose something to absorb, okay? Then we have the one dimensional, the trapping in the one dimension of space time, okay? So that's all for this video. Thank you.